hello everyone and welcome back to my channel real quick before i begin if you want to see more videos like this and also drawing tutorials and other fun rewards check out patreon.com slash ngk today i'm going to talk about color pencils and i'm going to compare the color pencils that i'm using prismacolor primer with the polychromos I'm going to be drawing the same portrait with Polychromos and Prismacolor and then I'm going to compare the results and also I will tell you some pros and cons about both brands. The first set is the 132 Prismacolor Premier set that contain 132 colors including a gold and a silver color. This is the set that I currently use but I'm using it every time that I'm running out of color. The first set that I bought is the 150. It was on sale and it contained all the color of this brand. This set well, it's not actually a set, it's a leather case that I bought when I was still drawing with my polychromos. I was buying individual colors back then because I didn't have the money to buy the whole set and also I was an amateur back then and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. These are all the colors that I have, I don't have them all but I was doing my job just fine with these. I think I have a hundred colors. So my experience with color pencil so far is that in 2013 when I started drawing I was using polychromos. I bought 12 colors for my portraits and I remember how amazed I was back then from the quality. I liked them so much so I bought more. Back then I thought that it was okay using oil based pencils. I could erase them easily, I could blend them smoothly so I was okay. But when my skills started developing, I wanted something creamier, smoother and I needed a brighter color palette. And after a quick search, I found Prisma colors, and especially the premier ones, not the very thing. They also have a waxy feeling, but they are more in the feeling of polychromos. And I also ordered 12 portrait colors. The moment I drew a line with them, I fell in love. They they were so smooth and creamy and I was in love. And I haven't stopped using them since then. But today is not the day that I will spend this video on how much I love Prismacolor. Today I'm going to compare them. I'm going to show you what I can do with both brands and also I'm going to talk about the pros and cons so you can decide which brand you want to buy. Also, I'm excited because this channel reached 2k subs and I'm so 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 incredible thankful guys. You are amazing. Thank you for all of your support all these years. You won't regret it. I promise you won't. Now, let's get on to the video. For the first portrait I'm using Prismacolor. The colors I used are listed in the description. I first starting with the eyes and I continue with the rest of her face. Usually I lay down the darker colors first and then the light ones. A good thing with Prismacolor is that you can add a darker color on top of a lighter color and backwards and you can have amazing results. With my Prismacolor I can work a lot more faster because I'm not afraid to cover a large area with pencils because I can blend them very easy. It's like you're choosing your colors and you apply them and you don't have to make a lot of layers to cover the paper. I think that with two or three layers you can have perfect results. But the truth is that you can make more than three layers because you get that waxy build up and you can't apply any more color. There is a way you can fix that and add one or two more layers or do your highlights if you use a Prismacolor fixative. What that does is that restores the surface and it makes it feel like paper again and not like a waxed surface. I talked about blending before. Blending with these pencils is like a walk in the park. Because they are wax based, they have that creamy feeling that helps you a lot to do your blending without using any tools or other mediums. Another good thing is that they have a big variety of colors. I used 12 colors for this portrait and 17 colors for the portrait that I did with Polychromos. 
One more good thing is their price. They are cheaper than Polychrome as well. I have to buy them from the US, but still there are. And now I'm going to talk about a huge problem with these pencils. Prismacolors break so easy, they break so easy. I'm having a lot of trouble finding the right sharpener and it doesn't work. Nothing works, not even their own sharpener which I have bought and used and now it's useless because it works in the beginning but again some pencils still are breaking. And that happens because the lids of the pencils are not centered. They're not centered and the company doesn't do anything about it. They are not even trying to fix the problem and I have contacted them before because a year ago I have bought a whole set with broken lids and they haven't responded to me yet. That disappoints me because it's a huge problem to try and do details with uh, a not sharp sharpened uh, lid. I hope they will fix this in the future. So this is the finished drawing, I have the result I've expected and now I'm going to use my polychromos which I'm terrified to use because I haven't used them for so long. I'm starting my portrait again with the same procedure, drawing the eyes and then the rest of the face. For this portrait I used more colors and to be exact with the polychromos I'm working slower because I'm doing more layers and the layering is slower meaning that I have to use lighter pressure with my color pencils because otherwise I will damage my paper or my drawing. One good thing with polychromos is that you can make many color layers because they are oil-based pencils and they don't make that waxy buildup that you have with uh, the Prismacolor. You can correct your mistakes easily because they're erasable and the best thing of all is that their lids are strong and they're not breaking up no matter how much you sharpen them. A huge con for me is that I can't use them, I can't combine them with my airbrush and lately I'm working a lot with airbrush and I'm including other mediums as well like markers and watercolors. Polychromos are a lot more easy to be found on art stores and on bookstores. The problem that made me change my polychromos and use the Prismacolor is that I feel like 
I can't apply too much color to my paper. It's like polychromos have a filter in their lids and you can't apply all the color you want. I, I don't know how to explain it differently. But on the other hand, with Prismacolor, you get instantly the color you want because they're wax based and they are smoother and creamier. So these are the finished drawings. With Prismacolors I achieved more realistic look than with the Polychromas but with the Polychromas I achieved a lot more detail on her eyes, nose and skin because my color pencils were sharpened. In general I like both brands but for the way that I'm working Prismacolors are perfect for me. That was it for today. Let me know what brand of color pencils do you use or what is your opinion about that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone!